Hey guys, welcome back to the, the explosive garden. Uh, this is a quick video. I, uh, a couple of years ago, I bought these from a man that are making them himself. And uh, I really like these. So I alternate between having beans on one and, and having peas on the other. So this year it's beans on this one, even if it might be a little bit too shady. I mean, I'm losing light in some of the areas of this explosive garden as the trees uh, sort of mature and it's okay uh, we will still have enough beans for supper once in a while chop some up these these are runner beans and i really like this variety um, and and this i think it's quite sturdy and i like also i like having these shapes in uh, in the garden this uh, manifesting that that sort of vertical growth space with these uh, trellises i i really enjoy uh, i will also say that uh, it, this place is being taken over by fennel and you will not believe i have like a thousand small fennel plants so i can feed all of them so with fennel <laughs> if anyone's interested. Um, but that's actually not the, the point of this video. Ah, actually this one. I also, I want to show you, this one is a really interesting, strange, old, old fashioned plant maybe. It's called Hunetunge. And I don't know the name in English, but I will be sure to put it in the description below. Uh, the seeds are amazing. Uh, it's it's uh, the name translates to dog th thong tongue dog <laughs> not thong <laughs> that wouldn't be a good thing but a, a dog tongue and it's because the 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 seeds have this amazing shape of a tongue and they are the same kind of uh, resistance when you are touching them it they are they are really quite something. Um, I uh, I like these old uh, old school plants in a way, uh, and I got it from a, a, a really nice uh, friend in uh, in the village uh, right uh, right in here. But uh, we have problems with deer in this garden, and it's so annoying because I have to put a lot of the annuals in here, and they are they are super vulnerable uh, right now uh, and because they are scraping and because they love peas. I want to share with you this amazing solution that I have come up with. <laughs> you see, I have my trellis and underneath I have all of my uh, young peas. Um, and I think it's an elegant solution, if I may say so. And uh, I, uh, I don't think they will get near any of the pea plants. They are, they are most vulnerable when I have just planted them because they get pulled up. They are not rooted yet. So once they are rooted, they can, uh, they can manage a little bit of biting and eating from the deer. But right now, I really, I really need to protect them. So... Um, Yes, may I present to you the most elegant solution I could find? <laughs> I don't know, we'll see how it works. And, and hopefully maybe it'll also keep them away from uh, the artichokes uh, because they are also trashing them and they are such sculptural, beautiful beings in the garden, uh, these plants, and I really, I really want them to stay that way. So hopefully we can keep them out and uh, that's just uh, that's just what i wanted to show you today so thanks for watching and see you later